There's really only two options Global Dokkan has for the next Dokkan Fest arriving in October. There are other characters I will mention in this video, um, but that's literally just to cover my bases here. Um, I mean, listen, we know that Global and JP are merging, um, so the schedule could look a little weird for Global moving forward, but I'm pretty sure the next Dokkan Fest is secured between one of these two options here. Uh, and before I go ahead and read that to you or show that to you, I, I, we have to do what we have to do, all right? And that is to catch you lacking. So if the first thing you did when you woke up today was check your phone instead of getting up, making your bed or brushing your teeth or something, you got caught lacking today. You got to subscribe to the channel if you're new or or if you are already subscribed, thank you for that. Drop down and give me a push ups, OK? You know, you can't be falling for things like that. I will say, though, um, if you did not check your phone the very first thing when you woke up, congratulations to you. You can skip today's subscriber challenge or push up challenge, but I will catch you lacking in the next one. Stay tuned for that. Let's continue with this video. So option A is going to be Tech Dokkan Festival Trunks, and option B is going to be Physical Turles here. Now, I'll tell you this right now, personally, I think it's going to be Physical Turles. The reason why I say that is because he is older than the Trunks variant here. Now, for global Dokkan purposes, it doesn't really matter who's older. Um, Trunks could easily drop in October. I mean, I, I what I was trying to say with that trunks line is that the likelihood of trunks dropping compared to turles in october is pretty much the same right global does not care who came first but you know me just liking things to be in order i think physical turles will be next and then trunks will probably drop in like december or november or something along those lines i don't really care um both of these characters are definitely decent but I mean, we'll cover those characters and all, you know, this, the celebration stuff when it comes. All you need to know is that if Trunks does arrive, the other banner you can expect in October will be the, you know, miscellaneous, uh, I was going to try and pronounce this, but it's too early in the morning, so I'm not even going to try. Um, anyways, um, this, you know, waifu banner here with Android 18, as well as Mamba, um, this is basically, is this double rates i don't even know i don't think this is double rates i don't even i mean don't summon you know like we get we get new easy a's with this which is definitely pretty cool but don't even it's not even worth it you know this is definitely an easy skip but that's only if tech trunks arrives and of course if it's turles who arrives then um the part two character or part two of the celebration will feature or should feature this legendary <coughs> banner with the Turles movie LR Goku here. Um, again, summon if you want, I'll cover it a little bit later. I'll also mention that since it's global Dokkan, I have to cover my bases in this video, okay? It's possible that, you know, Trunks arrives and then part two is this LR Goku. And then the next celebration is like Dokkan Fest Hurlis, right? With this is part two. Um, again, all of that is possible. I don't know how they're going to mix it up. Do Global Dokkan's weird. Um, but I don't want anyone to come back and say, Mr. Baby, what you said is wrong because it's like I'm, I'm trying to cover all my bases here. Um, another potential thing, right, Global can do is just say F it and drop Super Saiyan 4 Goku next. This is, I, I, there's no way this is going to happen. Like, I'm 99.9999996% sure this will not happen. Um, because they've never really dropped Tanabata that early before. Um, again, it's possible, as in extremely unlikely, but I'm covering my bases in this video. And there's also a slim chance that we could see something new, um, like a global first character but again i'm not trying to advertise this as a global first incoming type of thing i'm just covering my bases right um i again extremely doubt i'm with you when i like you heard me say global first you're like there's no way and i agree there is no way global first uh, is coming especially since we know global and jp are trying to catch up now so there's just no way but you know it's global dokkan we're talking about at the end of the day so they could really do whatever the heck they want um you know it's it's global dokkan so uh, yeah, super, not super quick video, but fairly quick video today. 
um, just showing you the possibilities of what to expect next. Um, I'm trying to think again. I, I kind of just woke up, so I'm still my brain is still you know firing up a little bit. But I think in terms of missing characters, that's all we really have, right? We have uh, trunks are missing from JP as well as the part two banner. Then we have Turles missing from JP, and of course Turles with like his you know banner units, right? Um, and of course uh, this guy and his banner unit, which I was it was this guy's banner unit Frost. Why am I getting a fr hold on? I got I kind of want to pull up this guy's um. I kind of want to pull up. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let's do Super Saiyan Trunks team. Let's do uh, Dokkan Festival Summon. Um, I guess it's not going to give me his actual banner. I mean, I can try and find it. I I don't know why I feel like Frost was like. I don't know, dude. I'm again. I don't. I don't know. There was some S tier character that came. Oh, was it Gohan? I think it was Gohan, right? I don't know. Anyways, uh, oh fr no, Frost was Kale. That's right. Yeah, Super Saiyan S T R Gohan was this trunk. Oh, was this trunk? Okay, cool. Anyway, so that them two alongside um, uh, these guys or Turles alongside uh, Super Saiyan Two Goku. Um, wait, no. Yeah, so we're missing Trunks and these two units here. We're missing Turles, their banner units, as well as this L R Goku, and then we're also missing. LR Super Saiyan 4, that's it, right? And and Carnival Omega, that's right. Um, so, in terms of major releases, I think that's pretty much it. What, six kind of major releases? Uh, we're not really six. It's about like five kind of decent major releases we're missing from JP. Um, so, we have quite a bit of catching up to do, but it's definitely manageable. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Please take care of yourself. And peace.